Hi, I'm Sunil Dip. I'm here to give you my opinion and my prediction on the upcoming Eli death battle on the Screw Attack channel. Warning, there are spoiler alerts, so I'm going to assume that you all have a general knowledge of these two characters, okay? Alright, now let's review. For this fight, we're going to see Agent Main, aka the Meta, versus Agent Carolina, like from the popular web series Bread vs. Bleed. For this, I'm going to take you down to their character histories, their weapon traits, and their tactics and mental state. For this, I'm going to assume that all of you have watched Red vs. Blue and are caught up with all seasons worth and know both of these characters to, uh, to your own level. So let's repeat. Now for those of you wondering, Agent Carolina and the meta fought before. She lost. But for certain circumstances, she had already fought Agent York and Agent Texas right before the battle, and we have to look at them at the top of their game. Quote Wiz from the death battle. We are looking at these characters at their maximum potential, not from some random point in their timeline. So let's assume that we're looking at Carolina up until season 13. Again, we're looking at the meta if he hadn't died at season 8. So let's take a look at how these two fighters are actually a little bit similar to one another. Both carry Halo Magnum pistols. Both have Halo bubble shields that can deflect multiple rounds from enemies. Both can disguise themselves by changing their armor into different colors that help sneak into armies and on multiple missions. The Meta and Carolina have worked together in the past when they were both a part of Project Freelancer, so they both have some knowledge to the degree of how they fight and their tactics. Let's take a look at them individually. Let's start with the Meta. The Meta's strength is unrealistic compared to most men. He can lift an entire Warthog in one. For his primary weapon, he carries around the Brute Shot. Used by the scariest fucking mute in the galaxy? Boot Shot is a multiple round shooting grenade launcher. And it is also shaped like a sickle, which you can use which can be used as cut any which is also shaped like a sickle and sword, which can cut any man down to size. Which also thanks to his strength, he can also throw it like a throwing knife, which he also uses with his powerhouse ferocity and his strength. With his armor enhancement, he can go invisible. Thanks to his mind being shot, he can take a lot of abuse to his body, like being stabbed, shot at or even take multiple rounds to his throat, which is also why he's mute. But whatever happens to him, he seems to shake it off and go right back into the fight. And let's take a look at the Meta's opponent, Agent Carolina. Agent Carolina is a very skilled warrior. Thanks to her training, Carolina seems to be ready for anything that comes her way in any mission. But Carolina can seem to be ready for anything that comes her way, whether it be falling off a building, fighting in zero gravity, or even sliding down an ice mountain. Carolina never goes to battle empty-handed. She carries assault rifles, grenades, plasma rifles, teleportation cubes, and thanks to her armor enhancement, she also has super speed, which can also outrun vehicles, rockets, and even an avalanche. Luck always does seem to find Carolina during battles, because she always seems to find a weapon, and thanks to her training, she always seems to use her instinct to help her in battle. Whether Carolina is on a mission or not, she will keep training and be prepared for the next one. Carolina seems to be full on battle mode wherever she is and who she's on. Along her side, she also has Epsilon, her AI unit, which helps her run healing units and enhance her armor during fights. And thanks to him being a supercomputer, he can run many scenarios to help her in fight and tell her what to do next. Death Battle also includes character history and mental state. For this reason, I'm going to have to give it to the meta. You fuck! During the Project Freelancer saga, Carolina was always competing to be number one on the board for top agents, and her biggest rivalry was Tex. During her time, she could never beat Tex on missions or in battle, but the meta was able to beat and capture her twice and even penetrate her face at one point. Wow, chicka, wow, wow, chicka, wow, wow. No matter how hard she tried or trained, Carolina was never able to beat Tex, not even a room full of knockoff versions of her trying to stop her. I could never beat her. Even after the event of the EMP blast, the meta's weaponry could still maintain function, but only still barely, but he still managed to track down the blood gulch tree and even make more weapons. Carolina may have Epsilon to help her out in situations, but she has pushed him to the limit, and he has his limits. If he can lose connection with her at any time if she pushes him way too far. Carolina still thinks about her mistakes, and her past does come back to haunt her, which helps her lose focus in battle. Because of Sigma's influence, there are no parts of his former self, Agent Main. The only thing he can do is either fight, obtain more weapons, and get more powerful, basically for the meta thinking he's an AI to become more human. Well that's my analysis who might win in this death battle. Go subscribe to Ro Screw Attack, Rooster Teeth, and Red vs Blue. And come back July 30th for the actual death battle. In my opinion, it would have been better if we actually saw a Red vs Blue character versus one of the characters off Ruby. Tell me in the comments below, which Red vs Blue character would you want to face off? Thanks for watching!